Okay, now this comes up a lot. How do you tell if your wound is infected, if you have an infection, like or you just have... Thing. Didn't even get the question out. There's a pattern here. There's Sorry, a pattern here. There's, did you ever it, see the one person comment on the Instagram, like, Bridget, stop cutting Dr. Aronowitz off. No, I didn't. I was, so, like, there's, so, so there's annoyed. one person out there on my side. Thank you so I much. I think it was a troll account. <laughs> It may have been me trolling. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, we can start. All right, but it's never too late, and, and it's never too often to uh, review infection, and it's because it's not easy. The, what are the four cardinal signs of infection? Pain, swelling, redness, and what did you say? Pain, swelling, heat. redness, heat. Yeah, and may I? This is the way you feel heat with the back of your hand. Your the back of your hand is better for hmm. assessing temperature. And uh, it's also good to note that the redness is an angry redness as opposed to right. uh, just pink, natural pink uh, color from swell from a little bit of inflammation or healing. So there's a difference. The same thing that causes uh, any inflammation will have those signs. So sometimes you have those signs without an actual infection, but if you have those four signs in a wound uh, in an area, then a type of infection should be um, considered. And there are basically two types of infection in the skin. Cellulitis, which is red, will then lead to streaking up your leg or up your arm. Very dangerous situation, but you won't have an abscess. And the opposite oh, I love kind a good is an abscess where it becomes a volcano and it comes to a head and needs to be lanced. And that's where Bridget comes in. <laughs>